is day 45. We spent last night in Hanmer, Hanmer, Hanmer Springs. The Nelson Lake section, seven days. That's all right, good. So far I've got five duck dinners, but I've got two other ones. Um, doing ham, what is it, peanut butter jelly ham cheese sandwiches. I still like those. A log, uh, a log of salami. There's two different kinds of hikers. Look at Marvel's cart. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah, so I can see what's going on each day. <laughs> 160. So that's about $100 US. So that's $15 a day for seven days. So yeah, about, uh, about right, 15 to 20 bucks a day. So with the longer resupply, I need to think about weight and volume. So I have a kilogram of peanut butter. I've got half a kilogram of cheese. So these are, you know, more calorie dense and they're uh, take up less space. And like for sweets, I've got quarter kilogram of chocolate, another 150 grams of chocolate. Um, really nice little room at the hostel there and um, really good food. Cooked up some porterhouse steaks, like meat here in New Zealand, super high quality and really um, quite affordable. So we've been able to get just big cuts of steak and lamb in every town and yeah, cook it up because there's loads of these backpacker hostels and the holiday parks. And so I've been eating really good at very reasonable prices and got an easy hitch out. Hitching has also been pretty quick and easy for the most part. So a lot of times there's just one road. So everyone is going in the direction that you're wanting to go. And uh, yeah, people are very friendly. Hitching is uh, definitely more a part of the culture of New Zealand than a lot of other places. Now we're headed up the Boyle River. This section, uh, it's gonna be a long one, six, seven days. And then the next section as well, these two sections are kind of the most challenging sections of the entire TA of both the North and the South Island. And uh, we'll have some pretty big climbs here. YU Pass, Travers Saddle, something like that. And then the next section will be even more climbing. And, uh, and then that's about it. Then we've got the Queen Charlotte track and it's the end of the trail. Time is so, so weird. Always looking forward to something and then uh, before you know it, it's up. These woods remind me a lot of the Appalachian Trail except the trees are a bit bigger. First time this trip that I had to stop and take my pack off because it was too heavy on my shoulders. Seven days of food will do that, I guess. Mm. This one is butter chicken. We found that butter chicken is the best pie in our opinion. That is Boyle Flat Hut. I think we're gonna go a little bit further tonight. Here's Rockby Hut. Really little. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can probably camp tonight. Look at this. A beautiful spot in the trees. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, right? Yeah, I like the forest. Super flat spot. This is perfect. 
Yeah, we stay here. This is our little friend at the campsite. Hi. Hi, Brody. Hi. Oh, I'm sorry. What are you doing? <laughs> you want to get the sand fly on my leg? Hi. There you are. Hi. Hey. Bit of a chilly morning today, but our campsite under the trees is great. No condensation, uh, just a little bit of sand flies. And then the robin friend came and visited again this morning and I had to go dig a kettle because there was no long drop back at that little hut site. And as I was pooping, Little Robin came up and like pecked my butt. So I don't know if he thought maybe there was a bug on there or something, but we're really just trying to see what it was. But that was quite startling to get pecked by that bird. But it's a pretty funny bird. So curious about everything. And now today it's gonna be like 24, 25 miles to Waiau, Waiau Hut. Um, but it's pretty flat, so it should actually be a fairly quick day. And that sets, up to uh, sets us up to climb that big pass tomorrow, which is one of the steeper, taller passes on the whole trail. This is fun and also a little bit creepy. <laughs> this is the top of Anne's saddle. This is the big main climb of the day. And the rest of it is mostly downhill and very gentle uphill, so it'll be a long day with a very heavy pack, but at least it's no more steep uphill. It's been a bridge at every major water crossing in this section. Mostly been able to keep the feet dry. Ooh, this is nice. And hut. Couldn't quite make it here yesterday. Look at this, two big old bunk rooms, double deckers. Everything looks very new, very clean. Water here probably works, yeah. Yeah, water. Well. Who do we have here? Hi! Look, Hi. look who I found. So you guys did hike. He did, yeah. <laughs> Three hours in the dark. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah, I was, I was like, I don't know. It's gonna be tired and sleepy and drunk. <laughs> so I'm glad you guys hiked. Yeah, good. Woo! Yeah, we the sauna healed us yeah, nice. for sure. Yeah. Rest. Didn't didn't uh, get out of town till like 7:30 or so, seven, because um, the hitch was really hard. Yeah. But this guy picked us up in a 66 uh, Chevy uh, Impala. Wow. And just was like speeding down the highway. <laughs> That's awesome. That was kind of neat. How's your feedback for you? Oh. <laughs> it's like as big as your torso. Okay, but this is food bag number one. And this is the overflow. Oh. <laughs> this is like my lunch locker. And we got chips. I don't think you should be carrying more food than I am. <laughs> Not going hungry this stretch. Place to take lunch. I uh, got 16 more miles still. 
but it'll be flat and easy, so hopefully not take too long. It's following the river, the Waiyu River, all the way up to Waiyu Pass. Some dark clouds gathering up ahead. Wind is picking up. Got six miles to the hut. So might be another race before the rain. This is a very pointy hill. There's a hut, looks like it might be full. The hut has two spots, but a bunch of sand flies in there. So I think we'll just camp and uh, maybe Gonzalo or somebody else wants that spot, but with sand flies, you just kind of got to dive in to the tent, stay there and uh, try and kill them as much as you can in the tent. At least they're easier to kill than mosquitoes. Sound, it's not rain, it's the same flies. Yeah. What a sweet dog. And it's the only dog we've run into. That's in this true. Whole yeah. Thing. See that? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It's not on both sides, but I mean, that's, that's no problem at all. Okay. I, this will be my 25 to. Got some decent sleep, but it was disrupted last night. Um, it was on a little bit of a slope, and then I had a mouse run over my head. It was on the outside of the mesh, so it wasn't inside the tent, but it used my head as a ramp and ran up to the top of the tent and then down the other side. And uh, yeah, a ton of sand flies this morning. There's some debate about whether we should go up the pass today, because it's pretty exposed, but um, it's really not doing much. It's just a tiny sprinkle. Really, no wind. I don't think it's gonna be uh, much of uh, bad weather. I think it's actually gonna be really beautiful with a cloud cover, make it look super dramatic and better lighting and be a better view than if it were just a clear, sunny day. We're Waiyu Pass, four to five hours. is somewhere right up there. Got about uh, 3,000 feet of climbing. It's about one o'clock and as you can see, we have all set up our tents. So as we've got closer to the pass, it looks like, um, I don't know, just to look a little worse than before. A couple people had some slips and falls on the rocks beforehand. So unless it gets better, then we're just gonna camp out here today. I'm just happy that there's no sand flies at this campsite. So we've had our tent set up for like 10 minutes and once you know it, 
The sun is starting to come out and there's a little spot of blue sky. Okay, it's starting to rain a little bit more, so we're happy about that because I don't think any of us really wanted to move <laughs> after we got set up. <laughs> Seems to be cozy. Yeah, a little lazy afternoon. So, in all the downtime on the trail, like when we're in towns, when we're not hiking, I get to spend it editing photos and videos. Working on the section from in between the rivers right now, going to Methven. Looks like it's clearing up. It's a little late now. Uh, Going to go up the pass tonight, but hopefully tomorrow we'll have a nice, early, beautiful climb.